I want to begin with Ronan Hannafin. We wrote coming into the visit, Sean, that this could be the game changer weekend for him. Ronan is, is looking at Nebraska and BC as well, but it's Notre Dame, Clemson, and Bama are the three main contenders for him. And Nebraska's recruiting, I mean, excuse me, Alabama's recruiting him on defense. And I think that the thing that helps Notre Dame and Clemson is they're both recruiting him on offense. And and Ronan has been adamant from day one, I'll play wherever you need me. I'm going to go to the, the school that's best for me. And even if it's not necessarily the position that I want to play. Yeah. But because he's an offensive guy, I think that does hurt Bama because I don't know if a lot of the other things that Ronan is looking for necessarily fit Bama. I think it's more about it's Bama. Right. right. And 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 the position they're recruiting him for, my understanding is, is the position that Nick Saban coaches personally. So, you know, when Nick Saban wants you to play his position, it's like that's why they did so well at corner for so many years. Yeah. You ever notice that ever since he stopped coaching corners, they haven't recruited corner the they way that recruited. they used to? They haven't. They I'm haven't. just saying. I'm just saying. So that's a big one. But Clemson obviously has done a great job with him. Uh, Coach Sweeney has done a great job with him. The whole offensive staff has done a great job with Ronan Hannaf, and they've made him such a huge priority. And then, of course, Notre Dame is there. So Clemson has made this sucker a game. I mean, I think a lot of people just assume that Ronan Hannaf is a, a no-doubt, no-brainer. It's not a problem. Maybe that was true six months ago, but as Clemson and Bama and Oklahoma and LSU and USC and Georgia recently offered him too, yeah, you know, that kids is, I mean, other than Caleb Downs, I don't know if there's a more impressive offer list on campus this weekend, except maybe Caleb Downs and Peyton Bowen. You're probably right. Notre Dame, Bama, yeah. Georgia, Clemson, LSU, Ohio State, yeah, USC, Oklahoma. I mean, you have every national champion from here until till 2013 is offered this kid. Yeah. And, and, uh, that means they see what we see when right. we watch the film. Right. Like, I understand. Everybody wants to make the excuse of competition and all of that. Film is film. Like, either you have it or you don't. That's right. You immediately see that this kid has it. You're a 4-4 or you're not. It doesn't matter who you play against. You're 6-2.5, 205, or you're not. It doesn't matter who you're playing against. Right. You're absolutely right. And this is a kid that, to me, I think Ronan does want to play defense. I think it took – I think part of the issue, too, is it took Notre Dame some time to figure out where they liked him best. Mm. Because you've got two sides of the ball kind of fighting for this kid. Like, no, no, we want him. You know, I think Chris O'Leary was like, no, I, I like this kid at safety. You know, and then and then Marcus Freeman's like, yeah, but I kind of like him at Rover. And then now Golden, you may like him a linebacker. And Tommy Reese is like, oh, hold on a second. You know, like, we, we kind of like him too, you know. And I think there was that debate and that battle. And ultimately it came down to, okay, well, Ronan, what do you want to play? And I don't yeah. think Ronan had a, an idea of that early on. Right. I think he had kind of convinced himself early that defense was it because he has played defense longer. I think early on that's where teams were recruiting him for. But as you started to see more and more teams watch his offensive film and kind of get past certain thoughts about, you know, like you talked about earlier, Sean, and and like Ryan talked about the other day, white receiver from Massachusetts, you know, you, you okay, Rover, linebacker. Well, mm -hmm. then you dive into the film and you're like, uh, this dude is really athletic. And, and and can really play. As more teams have started to kind of look at him as a receiver, I think that changed his mind because I think that's ultimately where he wanted to play. Yeah. And, of course, Notre Dame settled in on that, and they've made him a huge priority. So he has he does not have any other visits set up yet, but I do know Alabama is really pushing to get him on campus next weekend. Notre Dame needs to close on this one in a big way this weekend. Like, you do not and want I don't him mean, going down there. Yeah. What, yeah, you don't want him going down there. You don't want this thing dragging into July. This thing needs to be over this weekend. I mean, that's that's where it needs to be. That they've got to close this one out because forget the recruiting rankings. This is a big time player, and this would be a big time pickup. And it also fills a position that right now is still a big need. And it it, it won't hurt that number one, one of his buddies is on campus this weekend, Preston Zinter. You saw mm -hmm. that they flew in together. Yep. It won't hurt either that the five star quarterback that just committed is going to be on campus this weekend too. It's not a coincidence he's coming on campus same weekend as Ronan Hannafin. So this is a big, big, big commitment recruitment, excuse me, for Notre Dame. They've got to get a commitment from him this weekend yeah. because they need another big time receiver in this class. I think Ronan compliments Braylon James really well. He can play some X, he can play some Z, he can play some W. 
and 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 the other thing too, he's just now scratching the surface of what he can be as a receiver because he's just out there being athletic. He doesn't has no clue how to play receiver right now. None. None. And you know, you give Chancey Stucky that kind of ball of clay, you know, that's gonna be something. It's gonna be something. That's his power forward. Remember, he talked yep. about you know his wide receiver room being like a basketball team starting five. That would be his stretch, his stretch four slash power forward. Mm-hmm. The guy that's six that has that's big, but still can go up, make plays, ball track the ball, make plays after the catch. Perfect fit if they can get that commitment from him. That would be wonderful. 